I'm sitting on the ground in a Citation Ultra with all of the avionics powered up and I'd like to show you how to set V speeds into the avionics. So notice that on the multifunction display we have this indication that says V speed with a soft key associated with it. And I also want to point out that up here on the airspeed tape we have some V speeds that appear on the airspeed tape. V1, VR, V2. These are linked together. So when we're preparing for takeoff and landing, we can press that V speed key where it says takeoff speeds. I can press that and it will let me set V1, VR, and V2. I can start by setting a V1, we'll call it 89. Uh, or, you know, just to show you how this works, I can twist it to 90. We use this knob on the left side to set the speed. We can pick an, uh, another number for VR. And of course we can set another number for V2. Twisting that in. And then when I press this button, notice that I'm turning a cursor on and off when I press the soft key. So. Every time I press the soft key, there's the small box around the 99. That's a cursor to show you what speed you're setting. And then if it's if the uh, if the big box is around both the V VR V1 V2 or the number, that indicates that it is being displayed up here on the airspeed tape. So notice here we have a, a V1 of 91, a VR of 94 and a V2 of 99 because that's what I have in these boxes here. Now if I unbox each of these speeds by pressing those soft keys again, it turns them off on the airspeed tape. I'll turn them back on and get rid of the cursor by pressing that one more time. One detail to be aware of with the takeoff speeds in particular is that they automatically unbox themselves after or as we accelerate through 230 knots indicated. So on takeoff as we're climbing out, if we never actually reach 230 knots, if we're always slower than 230 in the climb, these speeds will not unbox. But if we accelerate through 230 knots, they turn themselves off and will no longer be displayed on the airspeed tape. If I want to set landing speeds, I can press this mode and we can set VREF. We'll say our VREF is going to be 99 and our V approach is going to be 105, let's say. Turn that cursor off and that would be set up for landing. If we, for whatever reason, did not want to display those speeds on the airspeed tape, we would press those soft keys to unbox them, and they would no longer be displayed on the airspeed tape. 